Hello, Morocco. Stories are powerful. Think of your favorite movies, or the best book you've ever read, or musicals. Stories can move us. Telling a great story can have a huge impact on your life. It can help you impress the girl, it can help you get the job, it can help make people like you. Everyone loves a good story. Now, one career where expert storytellers thrive is comedy, and Gad Elmaleh is a master. Gad Elmaleh is one of Morocco's greatest exports, and he's been wildly successful in France, and in Europe, and now in America. In this video, I'll share six techniques Gad uses to tell hilarious and engaging stories. And these tips are things you can apply in your life to help you become a better storyteller. I'm also going to share a story of why everyone at the cafe stopped talking, turned and stared at me just this week. Gad Elmaleh can stand on stage and tell short, funny stories for an hour in front of thousands of people and we love every minute of it. How does he do it? Think of the impact storytelling skills would have on your life. Imagine everyone at your table hanging on your every word. Imagine giving a presentation that people hoped would never end. Telling stories like Gad is a superpower that could really impact your success in life. So how does he do it? Here are six tips. Number one, facial expressions. We have 43 different muscles in our face, and with practice, we can use them all to convey emotions. Gad is great at this. Many of the stories he tells are carried by his facial expressions. Number two, change your voice. The best stories involve people, and they're so much better to listen to when the storyteller does the accents. <laughs> Poor guy on the other end must be trying. <laughs> Along with accents, Gad also adjusts the volume and speed of his voice. He provides so much vocal variety. Number three, dramatic pauses. The best stories are full of mystery, suspense, cliffhangers. Sometimes you need to tease your audience. You need to keep them guessing. Make them wait for your next line. Dramatic pauses can be a powerful part of a great story. Check out Gad utilizing this technique. What about a drink right after the show? She said, I'm down. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? So I said, you want to go out? She said, I'm in. Number four, laugh at your own jokes. People have way more fun when they see you having fun. Even though Gad tells these jokes multiple times, he still thinks they're funny and you can tell. People have way more fun when they see that you are having fun. If you come up to me and, I mean, I won't stop, but imagine. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's, <laughs> we don't like specific. Number five, use your body. Get physical. Body language speaks volumes. Gad is the master at this. Not many comedians and storytellers even come close to Gad's physical humor. He is so animated. When telling a story, see how you can enhance your body language to engage your audience more. And number six, practice. Have you ever heard a family member repeat the same story over and over in multiple settings? The reason is because when we share a story and people respond well, we want to share it with others. And over time, we get better and better at telling the story. Comedians understand this. They test out their material. They try out a joke, and if it goes over really well, they'll repeat it. And if not, they'll refine it or ditch it altogether. Yeah, I'm single, so I've been texting a lot of American girls. What about a drink right after the show? She said, I'm down. I said, all right, so let's do it uh, next time. She said, why? I said, because you're depressed and... Uh... So if the first time you tell a story, it doesn't go as well as you had hoped, perhaps you just need to practice. Add in some of the other five tips to make the story better, to make it more engaging for your listeners. So I've been working on learning Darija and I'm very much a beginner. 
But this past week, after my lesson with my tutor, I was getting up to leave the cafe, and I wanted to say, I'm gonna go to the bank and take out some money. And so I thought, I'm gonna impress my tutor. I'm gonna, you know, show him that these lessons are being effective. I wanted to say, an abrit bzeflus bzelba. But what came out of my mouth was, an abrit bzeflus baziba. And I shouted it, I said it super loud, and it was like the music stopped. All the noise in the cafe just went Vroom. People drinking their coffees went It was super embarrassing. Now, I didn't know what I had said, but based on the reaction of my tutor who started howling, he thought it was so funny, I knew I'd done something wrong, and my face went beet red. This is just one of the adventures of living in a new country and learning a new language. Stories are powerful, and being a good storyteller is like a superpower. So study these six techniques, use them in your life, and watch how it opens up doors in relationships. Until next time, get wisdom. Now, uh, I'm talking about you being a French citizen. You were born in Morocco. I was born in Morocco. This is my home country. Uh, they're watching the show right now in Casablanca in Morocco. Is that I want true? To say hi to, uh, yeah, my home city, Casablanca. Okay. That's it? <laughs> you just did it. No, yeah. people are like, where is that? <laughs>